great smile, I've got this great energy. So that's what I, I would get my story. My story is going to be that no matter what. But Very then nice. I will blend the I will blend the scenes. I will blend the script, and I'll be thinking about that's vision. You every time I write a script, that's what I do. I have a person, then I go to them. Oh, by the way, this is you. This is what I wrote with you in mind. And I've been wow. very blessed that I've always got my first choice. I always get the people I want to the do. point. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. So I'm blessed. Sense. Yeah. That's really good. Instead of going and kind of finding, because you're never going to find that perfect never. person, because it doesn't exist, because it's in our minds and it's our creativity. Exactly. Right. So it doesn't exist. You can't go out and find it. So right. that's great that you do do that. So there is a you know a role for us now. So we're good. There you go. He's so right around smiling. <laughs> exactly. I'm like slaying yeah. everyone. <laughs> and the biggest thing as well is is uh, is uh, like a lot of the great people that we were so you know honored to uh, work with yes. um, you know it's really about being like TJ Storm said about being of service yes uh, being, you know helping being mm -hmm. open being friendly being good to be around a team yeah you need to be, team. Need to be enjoyable to you yeah. 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 yeah so yeah. and also Abe you displayed that in prison because you were being of service and you were being of yep. service into in the jail with the inmates but also to the rest of the world because you're showing no matter what your circumstances are or where you are this is only temporary right. and we can change it and we can get out of it but we have to have that winning mindset and attitude right and you did do that you displayed that you know because you could have given up you could have said screw this i don't want to do this right. you could have you know just i was scared because um there was a day we were all playing spades and this is when I like said, you know, I'm ready to move forward. I'm going to start a clothing line to move the world. So I started a clothing line. It was called Forever Faith. Wow. Um, it's, it's all part of my journey and my story. My mm -hmm. book is the highlight right now because I've been able to talk about the journey. But when I came up with the clothing line Forever Faith, it, was, it, it came to me because the guys that I was sitting with, a few of them were getting out within a few months. They were scared to get out. Wow. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to get out. Yeah. I would hear them on the phone talking to their wives or their children, and then they would come back and like, I don't want to get out. Can you I, I, don't, share I can't with handle me this. What? Because I mean, the insight in mind of what's going on. So, what were they saying? What were they fearful of most? So they uh, responsibility. Yeah. Taking on right. the responsibility. How am I going to buy my son or daughter diapers? How am I going to buy a milk? How am I going to pay the rent? How am I going to help with the bills? I'm a. They're a convicted felon. A lot of them you know, don't know anything else yeah. or they've never tried anything else. Yeah, sure. and, and I think that's what it came down to. Like, you know, I was an athlete, right? I was the jock. Um, I was used to hard work, obviously yeah. playing sports. Yeah. You're used to hard work and commitment. And I've only won championships since I was 11. So that's all I know is championship, championship, championship title, right? Mm -hmm. um, so when, I, when I'm in prison, I talk about, I'm gonna do this, this, and this. I had no idea how to do any of it. I didn't know how to do it, but I was in prison. It was already rock bottom. It was like I have nothing else to lose. Cold face. Go right. do it. Cold face. But these guys yeah. just they gave up and they were afraid to move forward. You know, mm -hmm. they their mindset was weak. They had no faith. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that's why there are repeat offenders because Absolutely. some of them, you know, and I hear it a lot, um, where people just want to go back because it's comfortable and it's about they have a bed. Yeah. You got three meals and a shower. Absolutely. Being You've got comfortable a roof over your head. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, in life. Yeah. So it's familiar. It's what you know. It's like staying in a bad relationship same thing it's yeah. what we know we're comfortable so it's about pushing past that barrier when we get to it we're fearful we're, everyone's fearful I'm fearful yeah. Yeah. of a lot of things every single day All when you wake up yeah. when you switch that mindset you know what and just being positive about it because that's the thing we can get through anything right and uh, you know back in 2004 my life changed drastically I got a second chance of life because what happened for me is that years of abusing drugs and alcohol caught up with me and what happened is I made a poor choice and I was hanging out with the wrong people and I remember walking, I was at a party and I remember walking past a mirror and I caught a glimpse of myself and I was literally grey and I looked like a demon and the next thing I remember is just completely checking out. I overdosed and I was brought back to life and I spent a lot of time um, getting um, basically rehabbed right, and right. Uh, wow. you know getting through life and it was like I didn't know anything of my friends were all gone so because everybody was the party I was a party girl so wow. I had no friends I didn't have the support of my family I didn't have all these things and it was like okay what am I gonna do now right what am I gonna do 
because you know I was like I'm a loser I just overdosed um, you know my family and my friends and everybody's gonna think like you know so I didn't tell anyone I sat in that ho hospital room and uh, fought for my life yeah. and I uh, was like hey you know what I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna be even stronger and I did and people you know like now that I look back on it, it was I mean 13 years ago and uh, I would not have changed that day for anything in Some, my life. Sometimes I think when you come to a crisis, it's almost sometimes, not saying all the time, you don't want to overdose and almost die. I'm not talking about that. Yeah. But sometimes when you come to such a prominent crossroads in your life, it's almost yeah. like you, you know, you've hit rock bottom and you're still yeah. trying to dig, right? So yeah. the, the only way is up. I think sometimes when you're going along like this and there is no crisis, to yeah. have faith sometimes can be harder because yeah. you haven't hit bottom you're comfortable mm -hmm. but you're not really happy yeah. and you, there's no crisis to yeah. to like throw you into action like fight or flight mode when you're in crisis yeah. mode it's survival survival mode yeah. you can get up but when you're just here you know like the yeah. guy who's doing nine to five job taking care yeah. of his family every day that's the hard work right yeah. that's the hard work exactly. right? you that's know the, it's you can't have you can't have a tragedy no, you can't have a miracle without a tragedy. There you go. You have to have that tragedy in order for the miracle Absolutely. to come. And like you said, that that path, and I'm putting this is in my book, actually. Good. It, exactly what you sure. said. You have the, the graph of life, right? Mm -hmm. And you have people that live nine, nine to five, and this is where they're at. They're simple, and it's basic, and it's all taken care of. What do you want? Everyone wants something different. You want to change the world you you want to yep. inspire people sure. you want to make a difference well it's going to be a lot of this Absolutely. and this the, this is the graph because as you're climbing up there someone's trying to pull you down you got to go through mm -hmm. it and then you're going to go right back up see but yep. and th at the end of the day this graph still stays the same Absolutely. Yeah. so you're they end up here 20 years from now yeah you're like right. this 20 yeah. years from now. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. And that's I just how it you. works. Yeah, it's so true. And it's you know faith without works. And the thing is, mm -hmm. is that you have to. We have to work on the inside. We have right. to work on us as right. human beings and individuals. And that was the thing that was missing. And that's why I asked you that question because the element in my life that was missing is because growing up in abusive homes and and domestic violence being, uh, you know, always shown to me. And, and quite a few stepfathers later, um, that's what I saw and I thought that was normal so with that you know you could go through all the counseling all the everything in the world but I didn't work on myself and until I hit rock bottom literally died and came back to life I went what's missing what do I need to do to change so you realized you were by yourself yeah I was and alone. you had nothing no, there was nothing else to help nothing you else. but you yeah you had in this come world up. yeah and it was power of prayer I got down on my hands and knees and I prayed I begged for my life to change and I knew that I was the only person that was going to change it. So when people go, oh, you're lucky, you know, all the things you have in your life, it's like, no, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed and I worked hard for it. I'm disciplined in all areas of my life because I want a wonderful and a beautiful life. And, you know, you just, it's, it's that mindset again. It's like, I'm not going back to that. Right. There's no way I'm going back to anything close to that. You know what? I have fun, I have balance, but... Uh, Never, ever. You know, that's why people would think, oh, well, you know, there's, what else are you going to do? And it's like, well, what else am I not going to do? Exactly. Because exactly. I, I already do know what all. that looks like. <laughs> I'm not going there. I'm like, I'm going to do whatever I possibly can do. I mean, it's going to be anything. Right. So check it off the list. My bucket list just keeps growing. And I know you guys are the same type of people because yeah. it's just like, right. it just keeps going and going and going. So you're writing a book. What's the name of the book? What do you think? Mindset of a Champion. <laughs> well, MOC, MOC, the book is Mindset of a Champion. So, and that all that all came from paperwork in prison. Yeah. Every everything was illustrated and drawn out in prison on crayons, markers, and napkins, and a commissary where I had to fill out to get Cheetos and Oreos. <laughs> that was my business plan. So, but that's where it was all laid out. Mindset of a champion. That's the book. It's all finished. I wrote it myself. Woo! Almost 300 pages. I didn't hire a ghostwriter to write it out. I nice. sat there. Um, my agent thought it was going to take me like six months to a year. Guy, like shout outs to Guy ATV, it, uh, under 50 days. Wow. Uh, under 50 days. I, I got to get my button here. I, it, make up your mind and go do it. Yeah, I've been talking about forever. Yeah. Well, I was just on a separate show. And thank you for making me accountable because we decided December 16th this mm. year is my four years in L.A. in this country. 
and I'm putting out my book. Nice. I've been writing it for like seven years. I've gotten so many chapters. I guess I needed one more life lesson and there uh, you go. <laughs> I've had about five since I've been here. So I think I better stop there before the book's like Well, you're going to have pages. a part two. You oh, have, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm already re ready for part two. So what do you think are the tricks to getting a book done and, you know, just making sure you do it? Because a lot of us are like, yeah, we're doing uh, right so now. I heard, to I heard E.T. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard, right? exactly. Everyone, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a movie. I'm going to do a script. Okay. I want to write yeah. a book. I'm going to start a clothing line. I'm going <laughs> to, right? Well, I started from, I'm, I'm going to answer your question, but I started um, my clothing line from prison. I was in my one bedroom apartment in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. And a year later, I was in a, a manufacturing facility that was bigger than a Gold's Gym, 400,000 square feet. Um, we had 200 employees in the back working. I had my own big master office, um, manufacturing deal. Uh, just, you know, so the, the, the reality, I didn't even know how to get a t-shirt to print on it. Mm -hmm. Now I went to designing my own clothes and hand picking the fabric from Korea and, and then design all of that. So, um, but E.T., E.T., he said, uh, there was a girl who said, what is, you know, the key? I'm a procrastinator, she says. How do I get things done? He says, there's no such thing as procrastination. Yep. It's just not a priority. I, I you heard it, right? It's, yeah. one, it's it marked as one of my So why did you ask me? Because you I'm know the here, answer. I know the answer, but your answer is different than mine. But, well, well, not in our case, no. it's not it, today. <laughs> it's, we're all busy. Yeah. We're busy. We have different things going on. But what is it that we really need to get done for whatever reason. Yes. Is it because of financial need? Is it because you have a deadline for a whole team that's, that's mm -hmm. relying on you? Do you have a family, kids, wife, children? All of those things. Yeah. Make up your mind and just do it. So, I'd like to add to that as well. My business please. coach, shout out to uh, Mike. He's amazing because he's like, just do it. Because we're all gonna be like, oh, well, we're busy, we're doing this. But my one of my character defects is that I'm a perfectionist. So. I want everything to be perfect, so it's like, oh, okay, well, until I get this done, and that's polished, and that's perfect, and that's perfect, then I'll put my book out. But you don't do that, anything when you wait for it to be no, the right time. Exactly. Or the right, you yeah. sit stagnant, you sit idle. Yeah. So don't do that, guys. Um, trust me, it's from experience that I know. And uh, I'm excited to put a book out. I'm excited to read yeah. your book. Where are we going to find it? Well, right now, we. Um, I've been in L.A. for the last... Six seven days. I got sand in my face <laughs> from the beach. Yeah, I'm like sand um, everywhere. Um, so I've been in LA. I've been doing interviews, TV, radio. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Um, and I had a meeting last night. There's uh, the editor in New York already said this writer has a powerful, interesting voice. Mm. That's what he said. That was his first nice. critique. Um, he says, are you guys going to turn this into a, um, uh, a series, is what he said. But we already had a meeting for someone else who wanted it to turn into a movie. So uh, now we've already had two discussions on that. So, so now the discussion isn't, well, who are we going to publish it with? Now it's like, well, it's, we need to publish it with a deal on the film altogether. Okay. So that kind of like, it's going to prolong it, but it's only going to make such a bigger, powerful impact. Like we're not doing things on a small level. That's, no. I'm not. It, it's no. the, the mindset. You know, if that's the case, then I'll just go online and self-publish it and, you know, yeah. and sell it to my friends. Okay. Well, <laughs> but that's, yeah. that's no, not. No, that's not your style. And that's not no. any of our style. Okay. What about the next two years? What other things? I mean, you got, I know your bucket list is like, no, well, it, so I just did a photo shoot um, on Monday. Yep. Um, it's been like three years since I shot with Noel Deganta. Shout outs yeah. to Noel. Shout Tracy out. was there. Noel, he's awesome. So when we shot, we got, first time I shot with him, we got two covers, two covers magazines, and then another 20 different publications mm -hmm. in, in 20 different magazines. So this photo shoot was even better. Yes. So you saw it, you uh, know. Yeah, so. Uh, I have to say, because I have to tell everybody, <laughs> everyone, you know, talks about fitness models being editing and airbrushed abs and things like that. Every picture that Noelle took of you was flawless and it was perfect. There's no editing, there's no touch-ups, there was no... Like, Abe just did everything. It was like, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. It was like having the perfect child kind of thing. It was bizarre to watch because I've been in a lot of photo shoots and never seen anything like that. And none of mine have ever oh, been that thank flawless. thank you, thank you. So, yeah, I don't doubt that you're going to be on some major covers. And well, that's the goal is to land some major publications and, ha and time that with the book release and time that with the movie 
and then obviously that's going to turn into a whole nationwide tour and then i'm going to the plan up here right that i've already visualized three four months ago yeah. was to be way different than just a fitness guy right yeah so i'm writing a real book the book is not about fitness although fitness was a huge part of it mm -hmm. um i attached that to the book in the movie and then do a tour in your traditional barnes and nobles and then now where am i headed to the gnc's the vitamin shops the complete mm -hmm. nutrition's so now we're cross branding for everybody yeah so this is a big master plan <laughs> amazing yeah. i know you're gonna yeah. succeed on all levels and you also we want to give a shout out to tc1 gel because tc1 gel you guys are yes. awesome Oh my God, uh, that, that's a huge deal. That's yeah. a huge blessing. I'm the face of that brand, TC1 Gel. So I appreciate all your guys' support and everything that you're doing. They're flying me out to Vegas tomorrow. I gotta catch my flight. Olympia, <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Booth 461 guys will be there taking photos, hanging out. Come say bye. Um, if we're lucky enough, we'll get Tracy to stop by. There it is. There's the, there's the TC1 there we gel. Go. Yes, yes, yeah. Shout out. I love this product. And like, you it heats you. I gotta oh, get yeah. you yeah. Yeah. It just peels the water off. Yeah. yeah, I'm hoping that I'll get to come by the booth. Uh, Olympia is always the funnest time of year. Absolutely. Uh, so we're going to have some fun down there. So check out Go See Abe at his booth. And um, I know we'll all be kind of like doing the festivities and pool parties and all that fun stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. Awesome. Susa, let me, t let's just share and tell us the next, yeah. you know, big things you besides you know getting Abe and I into our movie and you know. <laughs> okay oh, yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. pressure <laughs> <laughs> well we've got uh, you know obviously we're, we're still completing working to complete replicant mm -hmm. um, we've got New York where we're at the, we're at the finals for the film reel for the action show awesome we'll yeah. be back down here maybe just over a week because mm -hmm. his art has done a invite only mm -hmm. uh, for a, a fight choreography Yep. And um, we are one of the lucky few people who've got to uh, come down and work with art. Totally excited about that. Dude, so we're going, we're going, we're going to be right back down again. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow. Huge Amazing. shout out to Art Camacho. Oh, we love him. Just and he, he has, has his own song, guy. by the way. We, you know, but I won't share it now. But he, we never say his name without singing. We, we, it is actually impossible for us to do it <laughs> because we we start singing his name all the time because he's just got the coolest name ever, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that your real name? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we, we're going to be back down here uh, next week uh, just to work with art on that one. And then there's a couple more events um, in October and in February. And, you know, just kind of things like that. That's that's kind of about what we're doing. <laughs> That's the thing about uh, most of it is in the U.S. And uh, the, yep. the most of what we're doing is actually here in the U.S. We may have something in the U.K., but most, you know, we're in Canada, but most of the stuff we're doing is here. All right, yeah. U.K. Inspirational words of wisdom for action actors or actors that want to get into movies. A sure. uh, few, you know, we got three minutes left, so sure. just anything to let these guys know what to do and how to do it. Okay, basically, uh, obviously, number one mindset, believe in yourself. It doesn't matter what you do, just keep training. Put yourself on a little video, start sending it to people, connect, going to seminars, learning. Make sure you you, know, you have seminars by the people who are doing it. Uh, mm. The people who want to do it, but the people who yeah, are actually doing yeah, it. Go yeah. to the seminars. And then just keep developing your skill set because if you've got a good personality, you can do more than one thing. Um, I think most people are happy to have those type of people on board. Absolutely. Oh, Susa, where do we find you on social media? Info, well, you can find us at Real Diverse, R-E-E-L, Diverse. Uh, we're on Facebook with that. We're on a uh, you know, website. If you want to find myself, I'm Susa, S-U-Z-A, Singh, S-I-N-G-H. I'm on Twitter, uh, Facebook as well. So you could just, just call Tracy and find me. No, I'm just sorry, Tracy. Yeah. You know all these people like, calling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call like, yeah. uh, send you a message. No, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, just Facebook, uh, Susa, Susa Singh. You can Google me and also uh, Real Diverse is basically our, our organization and you can find most of our projects under that. Beautiful awesome. and awesome. Abe Cruz awesome. where do we find you? Uh, you guys can go to uh, abecruz.com or uh, on social media the real Abe Cruz um, Abe Cruz, just put in Abe Cruz Google. That's it. It takes you to everything. <laughs> That's how cool he is. He just pops up everywhere. Yeah, yeah. What a fun day. Like, unbelievable. Love you, Sousa. Love you, Abe. And a lot of my for fun things to come. So Olympia this weekend. We've got a lot of great stuff out there. So we'll see you guys in Vegas. We're here every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the TLC Unleashed Show, Hollywood Vibes, Sports and Life. Shout out to SWAT Fuels. Shout out to Curtis & Co. Watches. And, uh, 
it's time to go have some fun and say. Send me a watch. Send me a watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Peace. Peace. Shout out to Peace. Corey, my agent guy. Love you guys all in Oklahoma, all my whole family. Shout out to Canada. Shout Yay. out to Canada. 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 <laughs> action, right here. She's the next action. You guys pay attention. Exactly, you have to. There you <laughs> go. Be this oh. side, so. Better pay attention. <laughs> all right. All right, we're out. Hey, Good you guys. Choice. All right, thanks for joining in. We'll see you later. Bye. Peace. What's up everybody, Abe Cruz here. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm getting more active and gonna be putting out more videos more and more often. So make sure you guys subscribe to the buttons. It's either on the left or the right of the video. But uh, make sure you guys subscribe. I appreciate your support and uh, much love. Abe Cruz here, peace.